good to have you today. Thank you. Today we're going to be talking about the new MySight lens from Cooper Vision, which is a lens that is FDA approved for myopia control for kids ages 8 to 12. Be sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Um, that's just released and it is by Cooper Vision and by the way this video is not sponsored by Cooper Vision yes. this lens is a lens that's going to help with myopia control okay so tell our viewers what myopia is oh so myopia is the inability for patients to see far away and most of the time as you know kids develop myopia as they grow, as their eyeballs grow, the axial length or the length between the from the front of the eye to the very back of the eye actually gets longer. Mm -hmm. So this new lens came about, is that mm -hmm. because there's more cases of myopia now than yes. ever before? Myopia is becoming an epidemic. Um, it has basically doubled in the last two decades of really? the percent of, of patients that are nearsighted. And they're looking at it to be about 50, over 50% 50 actually in the year 2050. So what could cause myopia? Two causes, lifestyle and genetics. So your parents, mm -hmm. and then the way kids are living indoors now more than outdoors, Absolutely. and on all the up-close devices. Absolutely, and I'm not sure that parents understand what risk factors are involved um, with genetics. You know, if, if both parents are nearsighted, then one and two kids will have that risk. If one parent is nearsighted, one in three, and if neither parent, you still have still a one in four chance. Yeah. And with lifestyle too, like you said, the use of electronics, um, low light lit reading and, and um, uh, doing uh, electronics in low light. Staying in the dark. And staying dark. Not and being not outside. being outside. That's a huge deal. Yep. Research says that if you spend two hours a day, a kid, then that greatly reduces their risk of uh, progression of nearsighted vision. Why would we want to control myopia in a child? Well, I think it's really important to do that. Um, you know, when you're a nearsighted adult, you're at more risk for retinal detachment. Right. You're at more risk for glaucoma. You're at higher risk for a type of cataract called a posterior subcapsular cataract. Right. Um, and you're at more risk for something that's called my maculopathy, which is a type of macular degeneration. What is the new lens yeah. called? The new lens is called MySight. And is it a daily or? Yes, it is a, a daily, daily lens. lens. The child um, FDA is approved from ages 8 to 12 to start treatment. Mm -hmm. And it is to be worn 10 hours a day for the minimum of six days a week. Okay. So I think it's good for kids these days, especially with sports and, and school. And, you know, I know that I have a lot of parents that brings kid, bring kids in and they continuously break their glasses. Mm -hmm. So it, it reduces that too. And I think it gives a kid confidence sometimes. Um, and that's just the plus side of, of wearing contact lenses. But ultimately what we're trying to do is decrease the progression of myopia. If you decrease progression of myopia by one diopter, you're decreasing the risk of retinal detachment by 30%. Um, and reducing the risk of glaucoma and maculopathy 20% and 40%. So, pretty you know, good. yeah, that's pretty awesome. So you said daily wear, so it's mm -hmm. not something they keep on overnight. Nope, they do okay. not wear it overnight. They, they wear it throughout the day at least 10 hours, and it is a disposable lens. So, so it's a it safe lens. Um, I'm not sure about you, but I love a daily lens, and I have fit them continuously for about two years now, and I rarely, rarely see... A contact lens infection with a daily lens. So and I believe for that age group. That's, yeah, that's key. That's a great modality too. And the parents don't have to worry whether the child is cleaning them properly right. or they, you know, changing them every month. Um, it's just at least uh, one less worry for a parent. Okay, perfect. So, so how does the lens work? Well, the lens has two areas. It has a the prescription area, which helps the child to see far away, okay. and it also has a defocus area. Okay. And that defocus area is the part of the lens that actually helps to slow the progression of myopia. Got it. And the study has they've, they've done um, they're continuously gathering data, but the first three years proved that. The uh, lens slowed the progression of nearsighted vision by 59%, and it slowed the growth of the, the length of the eye, called mm -hmm. the axial length, by 52%. And now, year five, the data is very similar. So, 
So I know that we have patients um, that, that are very nearsighted, and of course they're worried that their children will be nearsighted. Mm-hmm. So what age should we have them be coming in, and then what age can we start um, using the contact lens? Well, kids need to get their eyes examined before kindergarten, hands down, earlier if you see any issues or changes with vision. Um, the contact lens is FDA approved from ages 8 to 12. Okay, so we wouldn't now, start till 8. Correct. Okay. Now, there may be some different circumstances where we may can start a little bit earlier, but ultimately you need to get your child's eyes examined, especially if you are a parent that is nearsighted or if two parents are nearsighted. Um, this is a new lens, it's new technology, so a lot of our, our patients probably have, it, has not, have not heard about it yet. So if you know that your child is near, nearsighted and within that age range, give us Go a call. Yeah. Absolutely, because we can evaluate them for this, for the program, and to see if this is something that we can do to help slow down progression of right. nearsighted vision. Right. And you can also see if a kid was farsighted and now they're becoming nearsighted, even if they're not very nearsighted at that point, you know that that's probably what's coming. Oh, absolutely. And so they, you could be on the lookout for when they get into that age. Mm-hmm. This range. lens starts at a 0.5. So... You know, I think a lot of it is just monitoring a child depending mm-hmm. on what their age is, but depending on what their genetic history is and what their lifestyle, um, how much time they spend on a computer. And if we decide to wait on the program, we may check them in six months. And if they've noticed some progression, then that might be a good time to enter them into the program and get them set up for the myopia yeah. control. I typically yeah. ask the parents that are nearsighted, how, what, do you remember when you first started wearing glasses? And if they say first or second grade, that's pretty early. It is early. And if they know their numbers, they know how nearsighted they are, then they're pretty nearsighted. Yes. <laughs> Most of our high, mo- high, my- high myopes can tell you, I'm a minus nine, and then you know. Yes. But it is definitely, you know, we got to get our kids' eyes checked. And, you know, the screenings that they get at school or they get at the pediatric offices, it's okay, but it just is not, not the same. You. No, mm-hmm. it is not. So just number one, get them get their eyes examined, and if your child is a candidate for this program, we will definitely let you know. So yes. we're excited to be able to do this, and um, what we'll do is we'll put some uh, r- literature in the comments below so that you can go and read the studies okay. and find out some more information, and okay. be sure to give us a call and we can get everyone scheduled and um, do an evaluation on your kids. Right. Yes. yes. Well, thank you, Dr. Holland, thank for being you. with me today. It has been a pleasure. Um, see you soon. Bye.